you actually visited Mike Tyson in prison. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you guys were that close? Yeah, Mike was Mike. Mike, Mike was my guy, man. Mike, yeah. Mike Tyson was my guy, for real. I would go to Indiana and drove. Like I said a couple times. I seen him twice. Second time I didn't see him. He had it all shut down. I hmm. mean, um, and and then yo, I think another time he was he had a visitor that was much more prettier than me. <laughs> <laughs> you remember who it was? <laughs> I mean, they were like, wow, how would I know? Oh, okay, it was like a famous. They were just like, uh, yeah, okay. you don't have to, yeah, he's yeah. Uh, still in there. And I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. And he was like, you know what he's doing. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay. And uh, you were in House Party 3 that year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah, I just showed up on set to say hi. That's how we did it back in the 90s. Hey, mm. we're back in the day. Uh, oh, we got a roll for you. I mean, it was like, hey, you yeah, want to be in the scene? That was Chris Tucker's first movie. Was he in there? Yeah, he was. In, in yeah. fact, hold on. In fact, yeah. I remember I talked to, to Kid about this. Uh, a bunch of people from House Party 3 pretty much ended up in Friday. Like a lot of the cast yeah. ended yeah. up being in Friday. Right? Because remember, um, yeah. what, what, what was the name of the girl? Uh, Felicia. Yeah. By Felicia was... Yeah. Played Angela the main, Means. you know, Means. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Played the main female role and, and, and all that. And like a lot of the characters ended up basically being in Ice Cube's movie Friday. The, the um, that uh, F. Gary Gray and all of us, when we visited scenes back in that day, you did that. Somebody was working, you went on the set. Well, you couldn't get on like Eddie Murphy set, you know, you know a lot of night, stuff like that. But friendly sets where you could, oh, walk up, oh, they're filming over here on Wilshire and drive up and... And you would, and then next thing you talk about ideas and put ideas together mm -hmm. because you would have some distributors there and you'd be working on your next project. Because um, John was always working on his next project. Rusty mm -hmm. Cundiff was always working on the next one. So you would kind of meet and they would, hey, you know, you just, that was it back. That, that's how you got your gigs back in the day. You know, you showed up, you had somebody, you, you support somebody's stuff and next thing you know, you're in a movie. With. Right, and speaking of uh, Rusty Cundiff, the next year, 1995, you're in Tales from the Hood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is also uh, executive produced by Spike Lee. Yeah. Is that well. your first Spike Lee film? Yeah, Spike never showed up. Spike took the money and ran. <laughs> I said, where are we going to meet Spike? <laughs> Spike put his name on it. We had to go and sell movies and show up in his little Spike joints and do all the stuff. And I said, where's Spike at? Never Spike Perdue, he ain't never, he ain't went at the premiere, he nah. went at the movie, he went at the first fight. He took out half the money. <laughs> well, thank you, Spike. 40 acres and a meal. Yep, it's good to where, be Spike. Where it's good to be Spike. But that's why I said, <laughs> man, I need, I need one of them Spike jobs. You just show up and just put your name on it and, yeah. you know, produce it. But yeah, 